All right, hi guys. Uh, this is Sam. Now today I'm going to show you how to turn a particular social media images uh, to an MP4 to a MP4 GIF. What we're looking at is how to you can animate your design using Canva. So I'm on my Canva page. Uh, if you're here to open a Canva, or what you need to do is type in Canva um, and when that load, it loads my page. I have been using Canva over the past eight to nine years now, and I use the Canva Pro. So, this is my Canva page. Um, yeah, this is my design page, which is an easy one. But now, Canva has made it that easier for you uh, to be able to do a whole lot of works on your platform. So, okay, that's just loading my dashboard to show you a lot of work. Uh, that I've been carried out on this page. Okay, this is my second page. All right, the first one had a lot of content. So today, we will show you animated. Now, it's so easy, uh, what about you on your platforms where you can change your page. So right now, I'm going to show you uh, one of the design. Firstly, uh, I have a page here on my page. This one page, I've opened the page here on a new page. So what I'm going to do for you is easily when you have a page you've worked with so far, what you can do is this every page have a page number this is page five you can turn the page to uh mp4 so when you click on the page you come to your download and you click this is page number five uh let's look at this uh then we have page number five yeah i tap on page number five all right then i click it down then my five tab i change it to video or I change the GIF. Now this actually will not animate. Though I'm on the animate page, this actually will not animate. It's good. But one thing is gonna do that when you change to let take you, I want to show you something. Alright, okay. You can turn this to just be a video because it gives you more views. But a better way is you need to animate an image just like what I'm gonna show you right now. Come back to your page, go back to your template. Or you go back to your home page, which is a better then or your hope is going on a certain type animated. You see, I have animated social media, WhatsApp story, Facebook story, Instagram story, presentation, right? So let's pick animated social media pages. And I've done some few designs. So you know you can pick any of templates here, which is good. We'll see a lot of template for you to use. So let's click on one. Let me click on this. And also, this is a good one. What is loading? I've have one created here already, which is this. So I created this. Now we can start up fresh and show you how I did this so easily on my animator page. Number one, I want to make a quote. So I already have this quote already. So I'm going to create a new page to show you how I did this. Number one, I have my quote. So which before you do your design, have your content. Then I have the image I want to use. I have my logo here. And I have this. All what I need is when I'm on an animated pages, <clears throat> you will always see the animate options here. So let me show you. This is a design I've done here. So when I click on animate, I can make it to animate in different form. It's going to read uh, everything. You can make it a baseline scrapbook. Good one. You can make it a pop up. Uh, you can make it a pan one, simple one, and that's going to be fast. Or make it a block one. This is a better one. So I'm going to do what I need to do here. Number one, I, I brought in a test. So I'm going to copy this test. Then I come back to my page. I click on the test tool. Okay, let's see the one I can choose. So let's pick on a hard headline uh, of my test line. And I come here, I pick my font. This is a good one. I love my hard font. Okay, I want this to come here. Then it's left line and increase the page, or you can do it here. Good one. All right. So, what's the next one here? I can try to increase, reduce the line height, which was done here. It's a better one. Then I can try to open that and bold that. Then I give it my brand color. My brand color is always here. If I use the Canva Pro, you can up your color. This is most of my brand color. Uh, for a brand, this is my whole major colors here that I've been using. So I click on this. I have this now. We'll make this code. No bonnet, make this code. So, what I just need to do is copy 
Then I can duplicate this. Yeah, good one. All right, make sure it's aligned. The bonnet is here. I have my font which I use. Uh, I love Google. Also, my second bright color is this color, which is good one. Now, I want to bring in an image here. If you go to my photo page, what I did was this. I used this image. It's a good one. Then I click on my image. On your Canva Pro, you can remove a background. So, depending on what our internet is going to be, click on your background remove. It's going to remove the background. So, I can use it. Major tools I need to use it for. So, while we wait for that, I intentionally want to show you how. So, it was that that was created somewhere. Okay. We're waiting for that to load. Okay, hopefully. This mostly has to protect your internet connection. Show how strong it is. Good one. That is remove already. Then I go size it always reduced from the hedge. All right, that is back. Yes. So the best way, click on event. Try to remove the background again. Okay, my saving is paused here, which means I have a nice location. Hopefully, this is going to work. All right, just wait for that so without wasting the time you saw that already so that led to the background here which you did and uh, a good one for me was that i changed the logo then i brought in my logo my logo is always on my folder even using canva pro it's always easy to arrange your images in a folder so i have my hess media here and i have all my logo so when i click on it I have my logo here, brought it my image align well. And good, I can animate this page, which is a good one. I can make it to fit. I can make it to right. I can make it to tumble. I can make it to pan. Okay, I can make it simple. I can make it to pop. It's a good one. Uh, I love block. But help people, help business. Okay. I can make it to pop and uh, can make it a scrap so which one do you like you can just try your hands on handing i think i like my blog what have people help business okay the ins got my internet back it's working all right and uh this, you can make it to play just to check the video it's gonna play for 10 seconds and from here you can just download your video directly good one is on page one the design is page one all right done then you download to your device all of things you can do canva pro if you're interested i'm doing a personal class with instructor students to teach you how to use canva for amazing design i've done lots of design i could say i've done hundreds even more than 100 close to thousands of design using canva the past eight to nine years so last one if you go back and check good one let's see the video here and uh, open the video I will turn over your player on your laptop and there we have our image let's see if you get a pop up there we have an image if you notice something it came with a name here pink and black fashion sales and made social media graphics this came from your page here all right yeah so you can add this on your page maybe i'm gonna give it a name all right let's say it's a design pizza or just essay. All right, that is a whole step. If you want to do a lot of videos around how to use Canva to remove background, whole lot of training, you can just drop it in the comment section. Then I explain to you how you can do lots of designs using Canva. And seriously, a serious pro design you can use using Canva. All right, thank you guys for watching.